What is good, everyone? It's J Chaos, and we are going to be talking about a character, Morty. So I have just spent like six plus hours labbing this character, figuring out combos, linkages, stuff like that, like what's possible, what's not possible. And let's just say, um, number one, if you haven't watched my little combo video that I made, whatever, before, Go watch that really quick. That'll give you an idea of the power that this character has. And number one, like I feel like this character just has a lot of really good setups. I think this character is really actually hard to play. Um, not like how Tom and Jerry is, or not how like uh, like this is actually, in my opinion, the first expert like level character. Like truly, like for example, all of these characters here, like they say expert. Hold on. They say expert, right? Um, he says expert. He says expert. None of those characters feel like expert characters. The only character that actually feels like an expert character that's actually hard to play is Morty. Because he has a lot of tools. He has a lot of things that he can do that are really, really, really important. So, with that being said, let's talk about it. So, first things first is, if before I even get into it let me just talk about like where I believe this character is going to fit like tier list wise I think right now this character is fair and because of how hard this character is to play I feel like this character will be like okay like not broken but okay I think people are sleeping on him already because a lot of people are like, oh, he's mid, he's whatever. I think this character has a lot of tools. I think he's going to have to have the right team comp. I think he's going to have to have the right uh, like player that's playing them to make them work. But once you make them work, I feel like this character is actually going to be like S-. And I'll explain that in a bit. Um, and there's a reason why I believe he's going to be S-. minus. Number one... Let's just first talk about the move set. So this is his we're gonna just give you terminology. This is one, this is side one or F one. This will be up one, right? This will be down one. This will be down two, up two, side two, or four two, and this will just be two, right? So let's talk about the uh perks. Uh well this character's like kit. So this is a really really this is like his most important part of his kit this is going to be a character that is completely based off of his cooldown like completely based off of his cooldown this move is his best move and is actually god tier he can throw a grenade right and i already found some tech with it that can make it to where you can do certain things that are really cool whatever and if you um this this is the grenade move. This is your special, right? But this move here, it'll shoot the projectile, right? So your projectile is pretty good. It has a few uh, properties to it, right? Um, it'll track the wherever the grenade is, and if you do certain attacks, it'll track those. Uh, if you do certain special moves, it'll track. Like if it leaves something behind, it'll track that. We'll talk about that in a second, right? And if you have it where it's not on cooldown, you can uh, basically cover your up and down so it's a free 50 50 like it's a free zone control for like up and down so you force people to dodge like forward or back which is bro it's so powerful people are not really understanding just how good this character's kit is this character is going to be s tier once people figure out like positioning and whatnot but um anyways uh the snake uh will go ahead and move upwards while the other one moved down so again it basically stops like left and I mean up and down and you can only dodge left or right which sets him up for like his counter play so that's really good right but um if the move is on cooldown it'll fire just a regular little laser and we'll talk about that now it says Morty can then combo out of these attacks to a whip attack that hits at its apex hitting an enemy will pull Morty toward him so this is a little bit confusing the way that they write it, but I'll, I'll go over like what it means in a second. 
and then this one is Morty pummels an enemy with this combo attack. It's basically his his arm gets really big and he'll start doing like hammer swings or arm swings and then it'll end into a hammer swing. And then this is his two axe swings. They can both be charged, right? So that's cool, right? And then you have your up one. Uh, it'll be your neutral up one and it'll again fire that snake and it's actually pretty good at like early game it's like one of the best early game options that you can have um it's really good at just kind of like really early occupying mid so that's a pretty cool thing and it'll stop people from jumping um right it'll just kind of like auto like air like it you have so much control with the air with this move and it'll first move uh upwards right so you get a hitbox up and then it'll move to the left and to the right so if you're occupying mid and you throw that in the air you can really do a lot with that move right um and then whenever he's aerial he'll do this elemental up attack that has a really really juicy hitbox it's going to be a god tier hitbox and that's the reason why this character is good it's because his hitbox is god tier for that move his up one is so good and it ignites at the same time it has a lot of knockback as well so it's a really good move begins to do his little like it's like he's cleaning the ground and every single time you hit you um you apply a stack of weakened right but also if you pass the a to b that a to b <sighs> if you pass the teammate up you'll clean them which means you'll take off status effects which is really good for twos um and apply weakened to enemies now what's important to note about this is that this actually has hella attack priority which means if like a lot of character like I'll show you real quick we'll, we'll talk about it in a second so we'll go over these normals first and then we'll go over the specials in a second so then he'll pound down with his armor T and uh, do this really nice hitbox as well which also has a good bit of attack priority and then his basically his passive is if he um if he does a, a grenade right uh it'll basically make it to where if you pass up an ally you'll give them a grenade and if they do a neutral attack then they'll basically like throw the grenade out right so it's basically like as if you're playing with a lebron like him and lebron kind of have that same sort of like deal going for them except he's a lot easy he's so much easier to kind of play with so i feel like a really good team comp for rick and morty is going to be wonder woman um just because she'll be able to give him a bunch of armor and he'll be able to give her a bunch of extra range or he, he I don't I feel like he'll be good with a lot of characters. But um anyways, uh yeah, so he'll give them a grenade and they can throw it right. They can uh then go ahead and get gray health. And it's not a little bit, it's a good bit of gray health. The moment that they uh receive the uh grenade, right? Yeah, so that's really, really good. So let's talk about this for a second. So this is what these buttons look like. So his neutral, it's like this. So I have already my perk set up on it, so we'll talk about that in a second. So yeah, this is this is his neutral button, right? You learn the animation cancel window. You can make this actually pretty fast. Now, even though the other hits don't actually like do uh, like knockback, they do a lot of damage whenever you learn the animation cancel timing for this move. So you can actually just do this, and what's cool about it is you can actually do it and walk back and forth. Now, this will take some, some getting used to, but you can actually do this. That's really, really cool. Um, anytime you're using this button, you can move while you're doing it. So if you wanted to do the move... You can do that, right? So you just have a lot of like CC, right? And if you wanted to make that really dumb fast, you could cancel in between. So yeah, he's he's like that's a pretty co cool button, right? You, I mean, if you wanted to like raise the bar, you you really could. I mean, look at how fast you're able to build that damage, right? That's a really good button. Um, even though that's not really practical, I'm just showing you, you can really, like, make that move pretty good. But if you didn't want to, like, spin the bar, you can just simply sit there and touch it like this. So, yeah, that's cool. This is a really good button. Um, not only that, if that move hits, you can get a free guaranteed combo conversion off of it. So, it's a TCE, which is really cool because you can, like, hit it and then, like, combo off of it, right? And there's actually some really nice combos. 
you can do a lot but we'll we'll talk about combos in a second um uh also after you do this move you can like uh link this move itself if like you can like read out a jump for example let's say a character jumps you can actually kill at anything that's above like 70 so 70 and above you can kill right so let's say if you read the jump you throw that out and they get hit by that bro this thing like you can you can kill really 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 quickly um anything 70 or above you can kill right so um if you read a jump or let's say you just want to like deny like i'll uh, we'll talk about it in a second i don't want to like do too much here so let's just keep going over the moveset just basically know like if you wanted to you could completely deny like recovery on someone just by simply doing that and you can just immediately like just like nope you can't recover now it'll cover both options right you know what i'm saying you can just completely deny up and down so it forces them to dodge forward or back right so you can throw the move out and then you can be there so they can't dodge up they can't just dodge down they can't dodge down and then you can immediately cancel out of the move and then meet them where wherever they did dodge whether it's like forward or backwards right so that alone is so so good and it already has a delicious hitbox so yeah this move is actually going to be probably like god tier whenever people learn how to use it properly you can combo off of it if it hits and if it doesn't hit Let's say the initial hit doesn't hit, you can get a double hitbox. So let's say they do this move and then they dodge like uh, up, right? To escape the hitbox, they'll still get hit by the snakes, right? Let's say if you did this move in the air and they dodge it down, right? They'll still get hit by the hitbox. Or let's say they dodge towards you, right? You can immediately meet them at the spot, right? And they still get hit. It has no recovery, right? So you can meet them there so you can take away the... Um, the upwards dodge you can take away their like ability to get up right you can meet them at the spot right if they dodge back you can meet them in the back right so this is a move that legit like once you throw it out you control all of the neutral right so yeah this is a really 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 good button then you have your down one so this is a little plumbers thingy like i said this move here you can just keep applying sacks of weakened and what's cool about it is you have hella attack priority as well um, and you can cleanse uh, your teammate while you're doing it and over time it will actually send and you can actually like do some little nice little linkages off of it Hold on. let's see if I can get it to happen we'll, we'll try to get a little link linkage here but it, it won't actually actually show the combo here see what I'm saying you can get a few little linkages off of it um, so you can actually use it as an engagement tool uh, and get a little few little bit now it's not linking right now the time is pretty sh tough i'm not gonna i'm not gonna lie to you the timing is pretty tough but you can do it there we go so yeah um and you can get a few quick combos off of that button as well so that's cool um then you have your forward ones and this is like honestly your bread and butter these these moves are so good so your forward one whenever you do it you can go into this axe swing or this hammer swing and the hammer swing is actually god tier you have hella attack priority your range is god tier the only thing that's kind of like tragic is that you don't hit behind you see what i'm saying like you it's it's only in front of you you know what i'm saying like you would hope that it would be in front but nah it's i mean you will hope that it will be behind you but nah it's just only in front but um it is a really 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 good move um i would not lie to you now if you do this move right and you do instead of doing forward one for the last hit if you instead do neutral one you'll do this move right you do a whip now this whip is important because this actually allows for certain things to happen you can actually aim the whip by the way right so you can aim it up aim it, uh down second you can aim it down like that right and you can aim it like just straight ahead so what's important about this move is that if you're far enough away you and you uh do the move it'll actually send you to the opponent really 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 fast so you can like whiff this and then like if it, it's if it hits in that sweet spot you'll get sent flying to the person you don't even have to touch anything right it'll just automatically send you there and you'll be able to do a combo linkage now i've actually done some combo testing with this and you can actually get some pretty juicy damage now the timing for his down one for pretty much any of his combos is really hard because it's such a slow move but if you do your forward one it pretty much makes it like any combo that you can think of like work really rather uh easily so you can get combos from this as well 
but this move I don't think is, is going to be good uh, because like you, it like that wolf recovery is gonna be a problem you get what I'm saying like that wolf recovery is a tragedy but it is a good move uh, but I, I don't think this is gonna be like a part of his kit that's gonna be used a lot it's gonna be something that just kind of happens like every once in a while but one thing that is good we'll talk about it in a second is like his first two hits right his first two hits are actually god tier um also if you didn't want to like if there was ever a point where you didn't want to get that attack right because there's actually combos where you would actually want to have this attack instead if you wanted to you could do this this and then you could just instead of doing that right you could do this this and then cancel it and then go into that right so like you can always like do a neutral cancel and then get that to combo just like that right and like i said you get a free combo off of this so that already is kind of building that combo arsenal right again just basic little stuff we're, we're just starting getting started here so yeah that's really cool that's a good button right so that's his down one his forward one now let's talk about his up one his up one is a really good button because you can actually like space this again like i said it goes all the way up right and it'll go all the way to the right and to the left right now depending on how much you hold it right it'll determine just like how like big those snakes are and how far they go right so like i'll, I'll show you here, here. Like, those snakes will basically travel across the map so you can actually like say you're fighting here and your teammate needs help you be like all right i got you bam and that snake's gonna fly there now what's cool about it is if you charge it just a halfway that snake will travel across the map, right? If you charge it even like one fourth of the way, like that snake will travel, like even just like a little bit. Like the snakes, you don't really have to hold this move just like that much, and the snakes still travel. So as long as you don't tap the button, the snakes will go literally like very, very, very far. So that's really important to know. Like if you charge just a little bit, they're going to go across the map. So this is a really good move. But what's also cool is you can actually use this to combo right so yeah that's hella cool um if you are like if you are planning on getting that hit you can combo from way way across the map uh with this character now you have to have advanced movement in order to do that but it's really not that hard i mean you just saw me do it on first try um you just know you can actually combo off of this move right and same thing with the uh with this one here as well right so for example let's say you jump up and you land it right that's a combo conversion like you can combo off of that right so just know that you could purposely like jump over someone throw that attack out and then like be able to like get a punish just like that right and then get a combo and that can open up a whole lot for you as well so just know like this is not like a this move is trash right because a lot of people will just be like they don't see immediate like usage of like okay that move's just bad we're not going to like use that move this move is actually really really good and same thing with this move as well. They're really, really good. You're just going to have to have your spacing, like, really, really good. Uh, because the hit stun that you give, like, on this, on these, both of these moves is really, really good. Right? They're, like, that's a lot of hit stun. And you can actually kill rather quickly uh, whenever you pair these moves properly. And you know the spacing of it. So, yeah. That's his up one as well. So... With that being said, that's pretty much all of this character's neutral attacks. So, let's start talking about, like, wolf recovery, right? So, off of this button, he can immediately, like, get out of it, right? So, he has no wolf recovery. Same thing for these. No wolf recovery whatsoever. So, he can legit... He can do whatever the heck he wants, right? He, whenever he does these buttons, he's you're not punishing him. And that's really important to know, right? Same thing with this button. He can throw it out, immediately get out of there. So he can throw it out, immediately get out of there, right? So, like, this is a character where, like, you are not touching him, right? And he can, like, combo off of this move, right? He can, uh, he can do this as well, right? Or he can do this into this. Right, so like he has combos, right? And he can have combos where you guarantee the sack of weaken. Um, there's so much like if you haven't watched my combo video, just go watch that. I'm not gonna go too deep into the combos because that's not like gonna be what I'm talking about here. Um, just know like this button as well, no hit, no whiff recovery. You can cancel out of it anytime you want, right? So you can get the hit and then immediately get out of it, right? And then like go crazy. So yeah. 
Um, the thing to know about this move is whenever it hits, it's always going to go behind you, right? So wherever you, like, move, wherever you hit them at, it's going to bring you to the other side. It's going to bring the opponent to the other side. So just keep that in mind if you're trying to combo off of that move. But, um, nevertheless, so, like, let's say if you did this, you do, like, something like that, right? And that's nice, right? So, like, you can, like, do like that. Uh, hold on, I'm tripping. Alright, so you have a, a few good little, quick little, nice little linkages that you can do with that, or just setups that you can do. So yeah, um, just know you have no recovery off that move. Now, this move you have no recovery as well. You can immediately throw it out and get up out of there. Same thing with the second one, throw it out, get it up out of there. And this actually opens up the ability for you to do this, and that links. So another character that can do that uh, is like Tom and Jerry. Tom and Jerry can do that, right? So if you'd like just do this, neutral dodge, that's a combo, right? So your two hits just now became a one hit, right? You can't do it off the first hit, right? You can't do it off the first hit, but you can do it off the second hit. And that links. So you should always, 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 no matter what you're doing, do this. It's just free extra damage, right? So, um... God tier. God tier. Alright, so let's say, again, you wanted to do that right and then you wanted to go into whatever so you would do bing 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 right and that's a combo right that actually links i just didn't time it right so yeah like just know like after you do that move you have no whiff recovery whatsoever so you can throw this out and then get up out of there right so yeah really really good button to use like your forward and it, the range on it is really freaking good like He's going to be outranging so many characters. This is the reason why I say, like, this character will be God tier. Because his range alone from this move and the fact that it has no, like, you can't punish him. He can just throw it out and then get up out of there. That's a good button. But anyways, um, it's also your combo starter. So, yeah, same thing with your up one. You can throw it out and immediately get up out of there. Can't really be punished from the move, right? You can charge it, right? You can't cancel out of the charge, which is a bummer, but nevertheless, right? But you can cancel out of pretty much all of your normal buttons. Now, let's talk about your aerial buttons, right? So, this one, you have some whiff recovery. So, that's actually quite important to know. So, if you throw this move out, you're going to have some whiff recovery. So, I feel like they kind of did that on purpose because of the other character. But now, this move has none. Throw it out, and you're out of there. Like, so, this is, this, is, this is basically like Bugs Bunny 2.0. Pre pre patch bugs money whenever you had no whiff recovery. That's what this junk is. You're gonna be able to like auto neutral so many people aerial, right? So if someone's air, you can just do that and then immediately be able to just go right into another one with no like 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 cause, right? So if you bink bink, like you're just you're in those, right? So yeah, you know this is a god tier move that has no recovery whatsoever and it ignites. So that's a good button. And uh, same thing with this one. Once the animation finishes, you're out of there. So again, no whiff recovery. Um, God tier button, right? Um, the only problem is it has hella startup. Uh, but it actually hits a little bit before. Uh, it still has hella startup, but it hits a little bit before you uh, actually think it would. Like, for example, it hits like on the like mid swing. And it's, it's dependent on like your... Like, your, uh, like for example, if you're like behind them... It'll hit like like pretty much like halfway. So the hitbox is pretty like deceiving as far as like when it hits. Cause it'll hit like like mid. And it has hella active frames as well. So just keep that in mind. Like this is a good travel button. So if you wanted to like punish somebody while you're traveling, you can do it like that. Uh for example, uh Velma's light bulb, you can kinda travel with the hitbox, right? So yeah, um, with that being the case, that, that really like kind of opens up the uh, idea of you know being able to like travel with the character and then get up out of there. So yeah, this is a character where if he does that button, he's up out of there. He's out of there. Uh, and also his all of his moves on hit or wolf are the same as far as his normal buttons here. Now this move on uh, hit is God tier because the moment you get a hit with this move, you can immediately like follow up again, right? So like you can actually like legit like. Make it to where you can do the move and then do another one, right? Really, really quickly. Or you can do the move and then combo down into that, right? 
or you can do the move do like that combo down into that right or you can do the move combo down into that you literally have so many options right so let's say they're high health or whatever and you hit them with that forward one you can meet them wherever they are right you know what i'm saying you can basically just carry people across the map right so you could do the move and immediately be able to reposition on hit or on whiff you know what i'm saying like you hit and then you're just right back at where you want to be at so that's a really really good button um you're down one also the moment you get a hit you can just meet people wherever they are so this is a really good like kill confirm you can do that as well um off of hit or off of whiff you can really just kind of meet people now i will say one thing his uh his hitbox for um his hitbox for like his down one sends in a really random location almost every time so it's going to be one of those moves where you're going to have to kind of just like get used of it but like it, it's like it's a good move it's kind of it reminds me of superman right you just know you have some kill power with that move um since your down one itself doesn't really kill your down one doesn't have a lot of like knockback right but when you combo it into the proper move you can actually like get a good linkage here so like for example just that into that and you can send pretty high it's not a, like anything crazy but it's enough to get the job done if you wanted to get a linkage right so for example um air 100 whatever right you got a nice little combo right so that kills at, i believe at 110 and above and this is on a heavy character like this character has a lot of like tankiness so like you see what i'm saying like you can kill pretty quickly so with that move so if you get that that's a easy hit hit confirm you can get that easily so just know that that button's actually pretty good for uh confirms like on the low ground as well and it has no hit recovery so you do it and you meet them they're out of there so yeah um really nice uh, let's see am I forgetting anything uh, we already talked about how this one is the more like the more um, health that people have whenever you use this move the better off you are because then you can really kind of like do a lot of setups that you normally wouldn't be able to and you can send people in a direction that they don't want so let's say your edge and their edge as well you can legit hit them like this and it'll send them behind you so you can actually use this to send people like for uh, right so like you can be like okay take back edge you get what i'm saying just like that right so that's actually really god tier like that move is going to be really good for side switching it's going to be automatic counterplay and like i said that move has hella like attack priority like, imagine you hitting someone and then they just get sent flying this way and you can follow up with a really good button right after that right and then the more health that they have, you get scarier in disadvantage or in uh, like an Abare situation. Like that just sends like, you know what I'm saying? So um, that's going to be pretty scary. I'm not going to lie. Um, so that's a good button as well. It has a lot of utility in the way that it can be used because, again, there's no uh, no attack uh, hit or whiff recovery on the move. So you can just throw it out and you can just do whatever you want. Like it's a move where you can do it. And then meet somebody right and kill if they uh dodge towards you and if they don't dodge towards you and they kind of sit there then you can kind of do it and then wait right so he has so much like availability or what you can do is you can like do the move right and then throw a grenade hold on i'm tweaking tweaking uh, give me a second it's a new character y'all know how it is you can do like that right you can throw a nade up to, or you can like hold it up and then like kind of like okay now come get me right so like you can set up right after you do it there's so much that you can do with that um all right so you can do something like that to kind of like uh gatekeep or you can simply just like do the move right and then shoot your guy out so that way it like kind of stops both of those options so like i'll show you what i'm talking about here see what i'm saying like that already kind of like Like that for example yeah so you can kind of like beat a lot of options and like i said you can meet people like that right you can meet people so you can kind of take away all of that so that's a really good button this button is going to be a sleeper i can feel it so yeah anyways uh moving on to the next uh i believe we went over all of these buttons in here we these moves on on hit or whiff like they're god tier as well so they're just really good buttons now on 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 last hit for this 
This move is actually pretty good as well on whiff. I mean on hit. On hit is actually like this. I didn't think it would have it would have been that good, but it actually is. Like the moment you finish the attack on hit, you can get out of it rather quickly. So this is pretty good as well, because you can kind of like do the move and then chase, right? Now it's not near the level of like other characters like a Batman or anything like that, but just enough to actually like be able to like put up some pressure, you know what I'm saying? So it's actually pretty pretty okay. Now this move, this is the one that you're going to want to like do the most, right? Because you can immediately uh, cancel out of that on hit. So you can do the move immediately and then meet somebody there, right? You use automatic pressure, right? You're, it's your turn. It's, you're, you're in advantage, right? And you can do it while moving. You can just do this and then cancel out of it immediately and go like that, right? So that's a move on hit that is so, so good. And if you, uh, again, if you aim the whip, because you can aim it, and you aim it down, uh, depending on like how far away you are and how much like knockback this uh, like this gives, you can make it to where like players like go up or they go down, with, with, uh, depending on the hitbox. And if you make them go down, if you can make them bounce off the ground, then you can actually get guaranteed combo conversions off the whip that lead into like combo extensions. I've done this before. I probably won't be able to replicate replicate it uh, replicate it right now because it's actually pretty hard to do. Um, but just know that if you can like like aim that whip properly you'll be able to make it to where certain characters well not certain characters a character actually gets comboed up so let's say you do that like after you just did like a combo like that right and let's say you aimed it right or whatever let's say you did this right and you did a combo or something like that right and then all of a sudden out of nowhere you just actually like finally aim that jump right to where you can get that combo to uh, bounce off the ground and then now you just got a true combo extension that you can lead into other things right because remember you can cancel out of it immediately so just know like and you want to aim it down right because that that's where like that you get that that good spot like for example if you aim it way out here and you aim it down see how you got that wall bounce that allows for this down one to connect so just keep that in mind if you aim it ahead sometimes you won't get that sweet spot right Wow, I'm literally doing this too close and I'm doing it every single time too close. There we go. Right, so you see what I'm saying? Like, you see how they don't bounce? But if you aim it down, you see how they do that little bounce? Just that little bounce right there. That's going to determine if you can combo off of this move or not. So you always want to aim it down. Always, always, always. Uh, keep that in mind whenever you're trying to combo with this move. Anyways, so yeah. That's all of your specials, right? So aerial special, right? Aerial neutral, aerial this, right? Aerial this. So you should know exactly what you can do. Again, aerial that, you can throw it and immediately get out of it. Again, that's the reason why this character is gonna be God tier. People are gonna be talking about, oh, damage this, damage that, or whatever. First of all, this character's got God tier damage anyway. You just don't know it yet. Um, what makes a character good is their whiff recovery. You have a lot of buttons that you can do that cannot be punished and that's what's going to make this character god tier so now let's talk about his next moves which is his specials so first you have the grenade right you can throw multiple until out of ammo so we'll talk about that in a second and then you have his summon of dirt or the earth pillar basically he becomes an earth bender which is the reason why i like to move and it can split the grenades into two we'll talk about that right and if you charge it you can move it however you want you can keep moving it you can kind of bait with it you can cancel out of it it's pretty good right and then you have your teleporter uh whenever you're aerial with that move and that's pretty good uh pretty good and then you have your like this move is actually going to be like one of those like kind of cheesy moves like you thought iron giants a little up to was cheesy this move is going to be cheesy af um this is going to piss a lot of people off in twos, and I can't wait to actually do it. Uh, but yeah, this is a good move. It's going to help you have survivability. Uh, same thing with this move. This is going to help you have survivability. Uh, you can heal yourself. I think it's like uh, 12 or something like that. Because I was at 25 health, and then I was at 18 after that. So you got 12 health. You heal yourself 12 health right and if you pop this move whenever your ally is about to get wrung out you can pull them back right and then it leaves a grenade at the location where you last end up before you warp back so you can kind of use it to like 
go like really deep into their lines and then immediately get back so this is a really good tool to use at the beginning of a game because you can do it and no matter what happens you're getting back you get what I'm saying and once you get back you can kinda like okay now I'm back and then I'm shooting this thingy at you that's gonna break like whatever you know what I'm saying it's a really good move and it also helps your opponent your teammates from getting knocked out um, so yeah this is a really good move so now let's talk about the specials so before we get started let me go ahead and put him on fight and I'll just put him on very hard really quick or hard whatever um, and I'll do this move here see what I'm saying and then it'll track it'll track that now we'll, we'll talk about something in a second here but I want him to actually get a combo you know what I'm saying? Like mid combo, there's only a few characters. Let me find a character with some hit stun. Uh, there's only a few characters in this game that can get themselves out of true hit stun combos, right? There's only a few characters that can do that. He is one of them. Him and Iron Giant are the only two characters in this game that can legit be like, I don't want to take this combo damage. I'm getting up out of here. And the cool thing about it is. This is a button where if you press it again, what is you doing? What what are you doing? Anytime you want, you can actually just pop it yourself, right? So you don't always have to like sit. You can like press it again and immediately bring yourself to where you want. So you can throw it out and then get yourself back, right? Basically, this move is really freaking good. Like, if you do this move properly, bro, what are these bots doing? These bots suck. Anyways, um, I'm trying to get a good representation, but the bots not even doing like basic combos for Ari where you like actually like send people upwards. You can get yourself out of uh, hits on combo, so you can use it to like be aggressive and like go crazy or like go edge, and it'll bring you right back to your spot. And it'll shoot that grenade no matter where it is. If they're under the ground, if they're whatever, it'll shoot that grenade wherever it is. So, for example, uh, we're not going to go too deep, right? So, this move is God tier. Just know that that move is actually really freaking good, and it can save your teammate. Now, you got to be careful with this move if you're using it for your teammate, because it'll send your teammate where you are, not where the warp point is. It'll send them where you are, and you'll go back to the warp point. Just keep that in mind. That's really, really important. Because if your teammate gets sent like all the way edge and your edge, right? So let's say they're on the, he's going to get sent to where you are and you're going to teleport back to where the warp point is. So you can actually put your teammate in a bad position if you're not careful with where you're positioned whenever you do that move. Just keep that in mind. So yeah, um, good move. Um, that's his down to, right? That's a good button. You can use it to be aggressive. I wish it would like reset like like specials or something like that. That would be god tier. That would actually be so clean. But um Nah, it doesn't have that much depth. You don't have that much depth to the character. That would be so good if it reset like your specials like whenever you popped it. So you could like go crazy and pop the move and then you like, have re new specials or that would be so good. That would be so good. But anyways, that's pretty much everything on that move. Um, this move is going to have a hell of a lot of counterplay because you'll be able to sit there and do this and meet somebody like down here and then create a create a bomb and then be like, you know what, I'm going to kill you. Even you can go back into safety and still kill. So that's going to be a good move for like killing people from at the bottom, pressuring or whatever, like just being safe, right? And people, whenever you move back to your warp point, hold on, let me, I'll try to actually showcase this really quick. Whenever you move back to your warp warp point, see what I'm saying? You do that little attack, right? So you can get people off. They can't just camp your warp, warp point and then like kill you. You'll be able to get that a little attack there. So that's really really good. So yeah, um, your down is really good. You're down too. And again, you can do it, whatever. Cancel out of it, no matter what you want to do. Now there is some recovery once you like get out of it, so you have to be mindful of that. So if you do the move, you're gonna have some recovery. See what I'm saying? You can't dodge out of it just like as quickly as you want to. So you gotta be careful with that move. Now let's talk about his forward two. Well, before we talk about his forward two, let's talk about his uh, neutral two. The grenade throw. 
this is where all of the depth of this character comes from and this is where this is what's going to separate good mortys versus bad mortys this grenade here so first things first is you can charge it right the more you charge it the more you'll throw uh the further it'll throw right you can aim it up you send it high you can kind of like create like this like sort of like you can't enter in up top right but you also can't like enter in at the bottom because it's about to fall down so you can really play a good little game there so that's really nice and you have three of them that's a lot um, that's going to be really good for him. Uh, you can aim it down. You can, uh, you can like, do a down one like this, right? So, like, you can literally just tap it and then, like, immediately just, like, throw it down like that, right? You can, like, throw another one. You can throw it up like that. We'll talk about what I just did there. Um, so, yeah, just know that you can, like, really have a lot of control over where those things go. Now, if you're facing forward and you press... The button and then you move back last second you'll be able to throw it like that so you'll be able to like kind of do like a little lebron type of thing right so you do the move right and you see how like i'm facing backwards right now if i hold so i'm i'm facing the direction that you're facing is where no matter where you are the direction that you're facing is where this attack is going to go for example if you jump in the air and you're facing forward this this thing is going to go forward right so you can like jump in the air and it's going to go like where you it's only going to be able to go in front of you where you initially started so that's really cool because now you can play like some mind games right you can you can make somebody think that you're going to uh, throw it at them but it's actually going aerial or you can do the move and it'll go behind you if you aim it that way which is really nice because you can kind of like do these little mind games with the uh thing so you can like you know what I'm saying? Like, that's hella, hella cool. That's hella good. I don't know if this is a bug, if they intended for it to be like this. But, yeah. Basically, just know, like, if you're facing backwards, right? It'll go that way, right? So, no matter which way you're facing, whichever way you're facing, that's where it's going to have target priority, right? So, if you change your directions while you're doing it, you're, it's going to go like that. So, yeah, just keep that in mind. But what this opens up is... This opens up the opportunity to do stuff like this where you can put the bomb directly above you, right? Or if you do like directionally up, like this. Like that. You'll be able to get them directionally up like that. So this is really, really, really good. And I'll tell you why in just a second. So like if you do like that, so basically what I'm doing is I'm doing like uh, my neutral button then I'm doing left right really quickly bam bam right and what this does is it puts the grenade directly in front of you like literally directly in front of you and this is really good because you can punch these grenades right and when you punch them they get that little I don't know if you were able to see it there see that little thing that is so so good because now you get to position these and depending on which attack you do you can do like uh, the down one, right? That'll send it behind you. You can do so many attacks. You can do this one. It'll send it like a little volley. You can do your up aerial, uh, aerial four or two, and that'll send it like this, right? You have so many options, right? So yeah, this is a really good button. This is where all of your like, all of your um. All of your like skill comes into play right this is where all of your frame traps and everything kind of comes into play so with that move comes the ability to go crazy and you can also you can just do it like that if you want to you just sure won't be able to like hit people like directly in front of you you know what i'm saying right in order to like do that you would have to like do something like this and it still wouldn't work so like just that's the reason why i say like either throw it up if you want to do the easier version right and then do like that so you can get a little up and down or throw it up and then punch right but again you can't hit in front of you and that's the biggest problem with it so if you want to hit in front of you you're going to have to do either that throw it straight up and then do that move or just throw it behind you and then it'll always do it and it'll do a lot so yeah um just keep that in mind that's cool so once you throw a grenade out what happens right so number one a grenade is going to explode over time if you just let it cook right by the end of the thing it'll detonate and it'll count as a projectile so if you actually sit there and press your neutral button you'll shoot at it right and whenever you shoot at this button 
It'll also create another projectile that'll still travel. So you have not one, but two projectiles from one. So this is really important whenever you talk about this character. So we'll, we'll talk about this a, a little bit more in depth. So remember how we were talking about how you can like do this, right? See how that goes up now? See now how like I'm shooting like, multiple ways and you can control where that second projectile is based on where you throw your grenade, right? So like if you if you do this, right? And you throw it behind you. See what I'm saying? Like you can actually sit there and control that grenade. So keep that in mind. That's gonna be really, really important whenever it comes to like your ability to like micromanage like the uh this this character's like button. Like for example, like that, right? Or um let's say you wanted to throw it ahead, but you wanted to like throw it in a way that it was like that. There's so much you can do. You can throw it downward, right? just down like this and you can jump and then it'll like do a little volley like that you get to control it it bounces so just keep that in mind um if you can get it to uh bounce then that's really good because if you do like this right you can do so much with that uh with that butt so yeah really really good button really really cheesy if you do it properly this is going to be a very very good button see what i'm saying like you can do it and it bounces you just have so much area coverage with that thing so that's good and it works for every single uh like one of them it'll go wherever they all are see what i'm saying it'll meet them all right so um that's really freaking good see what i'm saying that can be so so nasty your ability to cover multiple areas at once that's really juicy so yeah it's a really good button use it um but let's talk about this move now this move first of all it'll apply weaken doesn't do a lot of damage but if you position it properly it can send someone edge right away from you and it can also send someone towards you, right? And you can actually get a combo either way. All right, so you can send someone away from you, you can send them towards you, or you can actually send them upwards. Uh, but the upwards one is a little bit different. Let me try to see. Uh, I'll probably, it'll probably take me a few tries. You can just send someone straight upwards as well. Uh, I won't be able to get it. I do apologize, my game is lagging quite a bit now. Yeah, I won't be able to get it anyways, but you you can actually send them straight upwards and that's pretty cool Because it'll allow for you to kind of get some linkages either way So you can kind of link and then go up like that. I have some clips of that, but it's not in this video um, So yeah, just know this button is actually got here. This is one of your best buttons in the game This is the button that you want to abuse Right, that button is god tier. That's your that's your money maker. You can combo it into this. The harder linkage will be this one, but you can combo into this one. Um, and this one gives you more damage and it'll give you more setups because you can lead that into like uh, this or whatever, or you can lead it into this into that. Right? You have a lot of linkages that you can do whenever you go into this after you do this move. Right? But what's important is again. You can do this and then link that into this and that's that's actually god tier this is actually a god tier setup right there this is actually a true combo um it's lagging right now hold on let me just reset my game give me a second give me a sec.
And we're back. All right. So yeah, um, so whenever you throw your grenade out and you um, do your four two, you can actually split it into two. And this is actually really, 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 really dumb important. Um, and we'll talk about it in a in a, in a second here. So um. Whenever you, again, whenever you do this move, you can combo into that, right? So that's really nice because that gives you a little bit of like pressure that you like kind of do like medium range, right? So that's a combo, right? So that's cool. Um, and this works at the majority of pretty much all health levels. So like, for example, you put them really high up and you can still kind of get that to happen. You just have to have your time. You, It's hard to do because you have to actively aim that forward too. So just... Just keep that in mind, but you can always like get that to pretty much link no matter what, right? So you can send someone really far away if you wanted to, right? So you can send an aerial away from you, or you can bring them back to you into it, whatever. You just know that this is like this is your bread and butter. Like, this is like your this is your cheese. Um, again, that's the one. That's the one that I was looking for right there. How you send them vertically upward like that? That's the one. If you can master that. That's going to be cheesy because the moment you do this move or this move, you can immediately get up out of there, right? So you can do the move and then you're out of there, right? Like even while the move is still like charging and then number one, you can cancel this move as well. So you can throw the move out once it gets hit and you can immediately meet. So like if you can get that vertical one, you can meet them, right? So like bomb, bomb, meet, right? It's so good. I've done it a few times. I can't replicate it though because I'm, I'm still learning, mastering this character, should I say. I don't know if this character is going to be a character that I want to play, but we'll see. So you can meet people, you can send edge. This character actually has a really good corner carry. He can carry someone across the map. I think the only character who can like carry uh, better than him is like Ryan Dog, because Ryan Dog has combos that literally bring you from this side of the map all the way to this side of the map. Which means if you do the combo mid, you're gonna be sending them into disadvantage, which is really good about Rick and Morty. Uh, really good about Morty. He can send you into disadvantage really, really easily. A lot of his combos really have a lot of like carry, like they carry you across the map, which is really good because he can move while he's doing his act of combos. So that's pretty cool as well. Um, but just this alone, like that's a lot of corner carry, right? Um, and just that alone makes him like so delicioso to play um he's going to be able to really like break up a bunch of teams positionings and their team like style of play just because number one this move applies weaken and it moves you out of a position that you want it to be so you can immediately break a stack you can immediately break a whatever like he's going to be very good at like breaking teams up which is really really good again people might be like this character is not going to be good they just haven't really thought about how good this character's kit is going to be um this is going to be really good at breaking teams up that's literally what this move is it applies weaken break them up tell your teammate and then you send them aerial right that's that's what this move is going to be for breaking teams up or getting a stray hit and then if you get this to land, you can be like com just free combo. You don't even have to meet him. You just free like go to the edge, get away from me, right? You get what I'm saying? That's gonna be God tier. Um, but what's also good about this move is that it splits these guys into two and shortens their uh their their cook time. They don't cook as long, and you can punch these again. So you can always get two for one, right? So you can do it to where you can kind of like grab one. Right, you can do it and then like immediately like punch him to where you can get two. So this basically makes it to where you can get two for the price of one, right? So that's really good. And look at how much damage that does, right? This makes this like so much more like deadly. So this is actually like something you pretty much like always want to do, right? Um, but remember how we were talking about how you could do this, right? That remember how we were talking about how you can do that? That right there. If you do that to this you can immediately get two of them really quickly like that and then you have one that goes behind you so you can kind of like auto neutral people with this see what i'm saying that's really really nice and it's really quick as well so yeah and you can again determine if it goes up you can determine if it goes side you can determine if it goes down you can do the bounty one if you want it's really really good um 
This is like one of your best like all right get off of me you know what i'm saying like you you just have that option because you have to respect these hitboxes right you can shoot it if you want to right so you can like do like this uh and it'll shoot both of them you get what i'm saying and then you see how that third one bounced on the ground so like you covered literally like your back side your front side and your like upward front as well so like this move is just really good at like just like bro you can cover so many options so anytime you throw this guy just know you, you're pretty much like, you're taking so many options away from people. So yeah. So if you wanted to, like you could just throw it up and then do like this. Shoot double like that, right? That's cool as well. And punch it if you wanted to. Uh, like for example, you could like do like this. Oh, I'm sure, I'm sure. You do like this. Throw it like that so where you get a volley, right? And you can actually like like stop it before it even hits so like you can do like that and then do like this and then meet them before it actually explodes like there's so much that you can do with these moves there's so much to like explore with this uh character um but yeah remember how we were talking about like how if you put up two of these guys right now you got four of these right that's really really nice because now you can kind of like explode exactly you know what i'm saying so I've actually tested this and the most amount of damage you can get is 77 damage by having all three of these and you do it right here and they all hit now you have to time it properly because if you get them all to hit at the same time they'll like they'll start to like see what I'm saying like they'll start to like occupy the same uh, occupy the same area so you have to like do these properly then you'll get them all to land like that and that'll just kill so this is a really good like aerial denial like you can just like bomb bomb right just throw it out and then bing 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 you know what i'm saying you could just kind of do that or you could just throw two out like forget that and didn't cover so many zones and that's really scary because they nuke people they literally nuke you could throw them out pretty pretty quickly right you see what i'm saying like that just nukes and let's say like uh one of them gets missed or whatever right you know what I'm saying? You can shoot. Like, you really don't have to like worry about like uh, like these actually hitting people. They're just like pressure, like just pressure that scares people. So, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can do that, bro. Like, there's there's so much deliciousness that you have with this. So even if you like throw them out, right, and you do like that, and you shoot them all, look at the amount of like, bro, that just explodes people, right? So like, bro, just trust me. This move is going to be a troublemaker in this game. I guarantee you, this is going to be the like the cheese. People are gonna be man, this character's broken, bro. Like, because you don't even have to like do that many. You just do it with that, and then boom, boom, and that sense, right? So like, yeah, bro. Like, this is gonna be a character that's gonna explode people, right? And you'll be able to combo off of this, right? So I've. I've done this a, a couple of times. You hit people and you can combo off of it. No matter where they are, you'll be able to combo off of it. Right? So, like, um, if you do all three, it'll normally send them, like, uh, pretty much, like, straight upwards like that. And you can combo when you're down one into your up two. So, you do that into that. Again, just go watch my uh, video where I showed it. Um, so, yeah. Your, your ability to split these is god tier. Like, that's something you have to do. Um, even if it, you just like waste them all, bro. Like having that amount of pressure early game, right? And it's like, oh, but man, when are you gonna ever have the time, bro? You know how like much time you give a Tom and Jerry to set up? This is so much quicker than all of that. That's just immediate explosion, right? And this is not even like I'm not actually doing the timing right to actually get all of these to land. You know what I'm saying? So like, you can throw it out, do like that, whatever. And then boom, now you got a full trail of whatever. So trust me, bro, that's gonna be so, so good. And if you're looking at it in an edge guarding perspective, if you do that, now you just, you're basically able to like cover edge without actually having to cover edge, right? So you throw a grenade, right? You throw it straight down, boing, right? Or you throw a grenade and you throw it straight down, boing, right? Or you do the whole thing, now you throw it straight down, boom, right? You get what I'm saying? So like, this character is going to be able to <clears throat> like like kill people without actually having to even like sit there and actually do anything about it so that's going to make this character really really good to uh play like for example that alone once you like master how that feels and you're able to do that edge 
your ability and you can shoot through terrain to like you know what i'm saying like that's just easy right that's easy kills easy uh like comp right and then if you wanted to split it up you can do that right it's just so good man that's so good so um yeah um this character's edge guarding ability is going to be second to none like bro like that's that's just nasty dude that's so nasty um and even like aerial like this like you charge it up send them there right i wish i could show it um i won't have enough let's just put a bot way on the other side here Hold on, I'll need one over here. We'll delete this guy from over here. Give me a second. Jesus Christ. So hard to hit. Alright, so yeah. Let's say like you're uh you're like trying to kill way up there, bound, right? If you do that, right, you can only go right here, but you can do that and then like bomb bomb. You get what I'm saying? Like Or if you shoot one, like let's say you're way over here. And you shoot one way over there, right? Bomb, bomb. You know what I'm saying? You just you're able to like cover so much distance, right? So like one thing that you're also able to do, you're able to do this, and then like meet, and then Bing, 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 Bing. You know what I'm saying? So like that is also good as well. You can just do that as well, and then you just covered the whole map. You know what I'm saying? So like there's so much that this character's kit can do, right? And if you want, you can just throw it out, punch it, and then like go snatch it. Now, I'm doing this slow. I, I still haven't like mastered the. Uh, hit cancel timing but you can do like that as well see what i'm saying and you see how you comboed over there that's that's good right that's that's the one thing right there um that's also in my combo video if you haven't watched it that's going to be the one that you want to do because that that split that it does whenever you hit this and it splits and it kind of sends them both and ops bro that's so good that is so good so yeah the grenade split is your best tool right so like throwing that up or whatever getting used to like this move that's going to be your money maker for sure see what i'm saying like that's just so good so yeah anyways um you can also just uh once you throw it you're pretty much out of there right so you can throw it get up out of there and once you throw it you can just dodge out bomb you get what i'm saying explode people so um uh, throw it out bomb touch me it's like he's gonna be really hard character to like uh fight Whenever you can just do something like that, right? And then just immediately beam. So you can do like, bomb, touch me. And then like, follow up, right? Meet them wherever they are. So that's going to be really, really nice. This character's going to be really good whenever it comes to that. So that's his neutral one and his, uh, I mean, his neutral two and his forward two. Um, I'm not going to go too in-depth into his forward two because uh, there's a, it, I feel like it's pretty self-explanatory, but just go watch my combo guard. You can combo off of it, but there's also stuff that you can do with it with edge, right? You just free edge guard without actually having to, like, even, like, you can just sit there and do that. So, all right, get up. Because remember how I said, like, this is a move where, like, if you, um, if you hit someone, uh, with the back part, it'll send them your way. But if you hit them with the, with the other part, the back part, which is where they're going to get hit if they actually are underneath, Right, it's gonna shoot them way out here, right? So you do that, and then you do this, right? They're done, -zo. You do that, you do this, they're done, -zo, right? So his edge guarding potential is so, so, so good. So yeah, and also you do the move, and you're out of there. So hit with recovery, you're pretty good. You can cancel out of it, right? So that makes it also a good move as well. Um, now let's talk about his down. Uh, well, we already talked about his down. Yeah. Uh, let's talk about his up to so this move is um i've actually seen it there's some zero to death combos off of this move but they're actually dumb hard to hit but the way that it will look it'll look something like this i'll try to i'll, I'll try to see if i can do it at least once I, I probably won't be able to get it just know there's some zero to death combos off this character it'll look something like that and then you would kill but yeah anyways um this character actually has some death combos that are guaranteed. Like oh, I'm getting closer to it, but it's it's pretty hard to hit. I'm not gonna lie. It's actually one of the hardest combos in this game to hit. Um, either that, or I'm just not. Uh, I'm not like sure of uh, the, uh, what's the word for it. I'm not sure of the timing for like how uh, it worked with the, the UFO yet. But just know, like you can actually get some pretty nice combos off of this because this combos into this. See how you get that three, which means you can guarantee someone to actually get risen up. Which means you do this move and bomb, right? That that's free. That's free. Um, 
So again, you have that move that's guaranteed, right? That's actually a guaranteed part of the combo. So you can do bang, bing, bing, bing. Hold on, let me, I'm gonna try to get. It. I'm gonna try to get it at least once. Let's see if I can focus up. Um, I wanted that. I wanted it so bad. Uh, 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 uh. Anyways, we'll, we'll we'll try to find. Uh, I'll try to get some clips uh sent over on the YouTube regarding that move. You know that move is actually pretty good, man. Like it looks something like that. Um, I know the sequence of events. You would do um first you would do this move right, and then you would do your down uh two. I mean your down one right. Then you would do this. Then you would go up, and then you would do that, and then you would be out of there. So yeah, that's basically the sequence. It'll be. Bing, 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 bing. Oh, that's a tragedy. Bing, 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 and then you're out of there. So yeah, um, it works. I just haven't been able to replicate it multiple times yet. Um, I don't know why I didn't record it whenever I did do it, but yeah, it's a really good combo. Um, there are also other few linkages that you can do off of that move as well, but. Again, it's still an unexplored move. I feel like that move is going to be God tier, but I'll just kind of show you some cheese here. One thing that is going to be broken is whenever you pair that move with uh, Frozen, for example. Uh, give myself a little teammate here. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Blue two are going to be close by. So red and purple are close by. So I'll make him a teammate. We'll make him Superman. We'll make him freeze. And we'll put him on the team. Hopefully he aims at the guy. Cool, 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 cool. Why are you no longer going this way? There you go, buddy. He freezing. He freezing, right? Oh, what? That's a, that's weird. It, it worked before. Anyways, um, I guess it's not going to work now. Let's see. Maybe I just didn't position it right. Yeah, I guess this doesn't work anymore. Wow, that's crazy. But um, one of them that does work for fo for sure is uh, his uh, bubble. You can insta-kill people. So if you get someone to bubble, so I'll just make him do his special attack neutral. I'll never let my friends down. Alright, so let's say, again, you put the hits on them, right? Put the hits on them. Right? You're dead. Alright, so that's insta-kill. So, him and Steven is going to be god tier to get together. It's going to be cheesy, right? Also, off of Iron Giant, again, I can't really show that because it's going to be really hard to replicate. Um... But basically, whenever you put you in that bubble, you can carry them up as well. Um, let's see. Uh, I think that's it for like how like good that move is going to be. That move is just going to be good for like survivability. It's going to be good for saving yourself. It's going to be good for like platforming. Um, like if someone like if you're up in the air, right? Let me just turn him off and turn all these guys off. I don't really need them now. Um, if you're ever in a situation where like you're gonna be aerial, you can just do that to like uh hold on I'm tripping, I'm tripping. So let's say you use all your thingy, right? Just build you a platform, get your resources back, right? That's gonna be so so good, man. Like and if someone like tries to like Bruh, like think about it, think about it. You do this, bam. You just killed someone who was trying to spike you, bro. That's gonna be so good. That's gonna be so good. Um I mean, you're gonna kill someone who's trying to like chase you, like your ability, because like like I said, your your um your down uh your down one and your up one have really good attack priority. Like you can really like go crazy with those two moves, like like hella crazy. So just keep that in mind. For example, let me try to actually showcase uh this really quick. Let's see if I can get it to happen. Let me set up, you bum. This is gonna be a tragedy. I'll make him do another move. Uh, 
That move has armor. I am tripping right now. Wow. Anyways, um, this move has hella attack priority. See what I'm saying? Like, if you if you fit that move right there, you can pretty much like just get in there. Now, uh, one of them that I know for a fact that it does not work against because I've uh, tested it with a friend. You cannot do that move against Superman. Uh, but it is a really good hitbox for like active frames and like chasing people down and you have hella attack priority. For example, if two people throw the move at the exact same time, you're going to always win that battle if you're up close. Now, if they have a move that's traveling, like for example, that shaggy one's right there, you're going to get beat. But that's just like, that's kind of like an obvious like given one. Um, but yeah, anyway, so up two is really good because you can build platforms. I feel like this move kind of sucks. Uh in like the like the grand scheme of things like it's like it's a random ability it's like out of all things that's really like his move you know what i'm saying but it'll be cheesy i just don't i don't think it's a smart move like in this game i think it's going to be toxic it's going to be bsy like everything that people are complaining about with iron giant that's exactly what this move is going to become a move that you can do that's going to be cheesy that's going to piss people off anyways um nevertheless i like the move but just know like you have some cheese that you can do off of that move and uh you pair it with the right teammates, you can like kill people very, very quickly. Like the linkages that you'll be able to get off of that is gonna be so nasty. Um, so yeah, um, that's pretty much everything off of that, and off of, I believe we went over everything. I really do think we did. Um, I'm just trying to make sure I didn't forget anything. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I guess we could talk about the whole, like, teammate grenade thing. So, whenever you pass your teammate up, you give them a grenade. You see how you'll throw it, right? And after they throw it, that grenade can fly. So, like, you do the move, you can throw it, and then boom. Like, there your grenade, right? And this move has a cooldown, but the problem is, like... Maybe it's bugged. No, what? Um, you actually like can't see the cooldown for this for that button. I don't know what that's all about, but the cooldown you can't see it sometimes. So I don't really know what's going on with all of that. But um, anyways, you do the move, you can do that, and you can combo off of it. It's pretty cool. Uh, it's gonna be good for like stack gameplay, right? So yeah, that's gonna be good for stack gameplay. We'll see how that plays out. I'm not sure if it's gonna be like too good, but you can still split it, right? And do that, right? So you'll be able to like support your team a good bit. So for example, let's say you're not really by your team, but you pass him up and you're just like, all right, cool, whatever. You can pass up your team and then throw it and then immediately be able to like support them from really, really far away. You get what I'm saying? So that's gonna be good in that regard, but that's pretty much it. So that's Morty for you. Um, we're not gonna like talk about like his edge, like too much of his edge guarding, but just know like uh, you can actually like get guaranteed combos off of like, uh, for example, let's say you did this, right? Lead into that, right? That is actually something you can do, right? Or like this to this to that, right? Or you can do like this to this into that into that, right? So you'll be able to like, like this is not a combo list character, like. This character actually has some nice little neat little tricks that can send all the way to the edge of the map like really you know what i'm saying like he can send edge and that's bro that's off of zero you see how far you can send someone like like in this advantage bro like this character is going to be good trust me this character is going to be good you may not have like the like the cheesiness or like the straight up like just like openness that you might want in other characters but he's going to be good trust me he's going to be good like you you guys can see just how far you can send right but yeah that that's going to be god tier like, that's literally going to be god tier alone i don't know why i keep missing that but anyways um there you go like you just send someone edge right and then you're they're just out of there so like I, like I'm still trying to like figure out like some linkages that I could do like something like that maybe like or uh, I've like thinking about doing something like uh, like this I did the wrong thing 
Yeah, it, we're, we're in we're in trial and error uh, phase, boys. <laughs> Something like that, right? Because that'll that'll force that that dodge, right? If they don't, then that sends upwards. Uh, and then I'm thinking about maybe like doing something like this, right? To reset, like uh, reset uh, like specials or whatever. Uh, the deeper that they are in health, so we'll see how that plays out. Um, I have a few ideas that I'm thinking of with this character to kind of help him in his edge guarding or just like straight up amount of pressure that he just sends, right? Something like that, right? I'm just thinking of a bunch of different ways right now. I'm still like labbing and seeing like what's uh, what are certain ways that he can kill rather quickly. So like I'm thinking like maybe I could do like a up aerial. Uh, this for example. Oh my goodness, that's a tragedy. Something like that, right? Uh, the last hit missed, so that's the reason why I didn't link. Yeah, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. I just want to like hit it one time. All right, something like that, right? I'm thinking like that'll be a thing that I can do. Um, there's something that I can do to kind of press a dodge or like force a dodge to go the other way. Because one thing that is cool about these things is like you uh get the blast radius like right hold on i'll try to showcase this for a second right see what i'm saying it'll throw them in the direction uh, where the blast radius like landed so if you do it like that you can actually like use this on the edge right to shoot people like in the direction where you want them to go so for example if you position this button like this see how it'll shoot like away from the blast so i'm like i'm thinking like if i do this move um like it on the edge and I throw it this way and they're still on the other side and the blast shoots them it'll shoot them back into me so like I can do like this shoot them back into me and then bomb you know what I'm saying like I'm, I'm thinking about certain ways that I can do it I have I'll have to lab it with the teammate though because I won't be able to like make that scenario happen consistently but we'll see we'll see what we can do as far as like mixing it up with this character now one thing that is cool is you can actually uh you can beam off the wall here all right, and it'll bounce right so like you can actually do that and like, you can bounce so that's cool um another thing that's going to be really cool about this character is your ability to make yourself safe so for example you just throw one up like that right and that's going to make it to where you can be really really good right so like you're here charge that up and then throw that just straight up you'll be able to immediately just like kind of like you know what i'm saying like that's going to be good as well See what I'm saying? And then you take take that, use that to get your high ground back. That's going to be good as well. Um, I can't wait to see how that plays uh, plays out. So yeah, you're pretty much just going to like be really, really good in disadvantage. Now, uh, let's talk about like the last thing, which is he can get back to edge really easily with that button, right? Now this button you can't, right? But you still have some slow effect. So he's gonna have really good disadvantage in that. Now this move slows a good bit as well. So that means you're gonna be able to have good disadvantage with that, right? And this move slows a bit, but not enough to where it warrants actually using it. So just know it does slow, but not by a lot. Now, uh, one thing that is cool is that um, you can charge this move, right? So you charging this move allows for you to kind of aim that move. And it's not just for the first hit, it's for the second hit as well. So that's good. Um, this move is really, really good. We haven't talked about it yet, Aerial. So we'll talk about it now. This is like the only other move that's like important for him. Um, we talked about that one, yeah, we talked about it all. So let's talk about this move. So basically what this does is, um, number one, you can actually use it for like movement, like advanced movement like that. Like you can do a little bit of cheese, uh, one, but you can't have the move already out. Uh, once you get the move out, you really can't do it. But like that, right? Exactly. I don't, I don't, I don't know why it keeps doing it. Anyways, um, basically the way that you can do it is like, you'll like that. I don't, I don't really know how I'm doing it, but I am doing it. I'm not sure. I'm not sure exactly how I'm doing it, but that is really, really cool movement. And um, you can just immediately send yourself aerial. Um, so yeah, I'm not sure how I do it, but it's that it's that right there. But it'll send you aerial sometimes. So I'm not sure how I'm doing it. I really don't. 
because I'm combining the input of my aerial forward two, and it'll give you a boost, like a bigger boost than you normally would just by doing this, right? Because you'll get this little animation of like that, like the beginning animation of that. But just know you can do this move and cancel out of it immediately, right? So you can, and you can hold. So this is really good, like advantage recovery. You can like kind of just like hold yourself and then get back, right? Also use to teleport, right? That's the obvious piece. So you're, again, your advantage and disadvantage is going to be God tier. So you can literally chase, press a button, use that time to get yourself back to the spot if you want, right? Fast fall if you want, right? So you can do that. So I have no stamina for nothing. Do that. Fast fall, go crazy. If you haven't watched my movement guide, you should go watch that. So yeah, you're gonna have the ability to kind of like go crazy um, with like your like chase ability. You literally can just use that to kind of just like wait and then like punish, right? So you just like okay, let me just wait and then punish, right? So your ability to just kind of hold a spot, you're drifting, is gonna be so god tier with this character. For example, um, you touch ledge and uh, you touch ledge and you automatically get the ability to just hold out here and you'll know exactly how long you have like you see how that that button you see how like that thing like zones in you'll know exactly just how how long you have before you get to cancel right so like see what i'm saying like you have a lot of time to cancel out of that move so like that's just free like bro that move is going to be so good right you can face it this way, right, if you wanted to. And j bro, you're just going to be able to get out so easily. So this is a good move. But now let's talk about, like, what it actually does as well. So whenever you throw this move out, you can make it to where any, like, projectile that goes through, it gets sped up by a lot. When I say a lot, I mean a lot, a lot. So now these projectiles get increased, like, travel distance, right? And they go faster. So this makes, like, doing this actually viable see what i'm saying that's just going across the map you get what i'm saying like that's gonna be some cheese and the thing that's cool about it is like watch i'll, I'll show you here um we'll just put all these guys on the same team here I'll just do this 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 and that right so yeah i'm doing it again You see how much damage that is, bro? Like, my goodness, man. So you would just be fighting, right? You see what I'm saying? You see how much you see how far that travels? Right? So yeah, that is God tier. Like a lot of people are not really like paying attention to just how good that move is as well. But that is gonna be a really good move to do like early game, right? You can just form damage off of that, right? Yeah, really good button, and there's really nothing they can do about it. There we go, bro. I don't know how I'm. I, I don't know how I'm doing it, but I wanna. I wanna know how I'm doing it. I just don't know. But yeah, anyways, this move is good just because you can simply like sit there and do that, and then create your own portals, right? Um, this like this move doesn't have a cooldown, right? Whenever you do the regular one. So I'm saying you can still do it, right? Even though you hear the, like the little clinky sound, right? You still get two. So just know you can do that, right? See what I'm saying? So yeah, so like you have a lot of like aerial like uh, ability. So yeah, um, that's gonna be good. But just know, like, the cooldown that you see, like, below me, that's for whenever you do the, like, the big, the big boy right here, that one. Right? That's when it starts. But this, guys, you can still do these. So, yeah. Um, the way I'm getting two of them really quickly like that is I'm doing the first one, and then I'm doing a jump cancel. So... So yeah, 
Good, good buttons. Uh, the only way you can really do two of them really quickly in succession is jump two, jump two. Alright, and that's it. So yeah, um, you can kind of ladder it if you want. So yeah, it's going to be good. I don't think it moves enough to warrant like it being like, oh, this move is going to be too good. So I don't think it's going to be that good, but it nevertheless, it is still a good button. So yeah. That's everything for Rick and Morty as far as his kit. Now let's talk about his perks. So, number one, this move I don't think is going to be good. Um, I really don't think it's going to be good. Uh, it basically leaves a trail behind you that allows for teammates to be cleaned uh, more or easier. They can just walk into it instead of you actually having to hit them. Um, more than just a hammer this move is going to be good for like ko damage because you can like use it to kill rather quickly so like i'll actually just showcase it here it make sure like regular buttons like really good at like kill power so like for example you do this like that move is so good for kills all right so you see what i'm saying like this is just sins now if you get people stuck in combos like, or hit stun or whatever they're out of there, right? So yeah, that move is gonna be good. But also, you guys saw it there. This move sends like this move sends pretty high, so you can actually use that to, to get you some good low combo damage, right? See what I'm saying? Like that'll kill. So yeah, just know like you have a lot of kill potential with that move as well. So yeah, um, but this move is gonna be good. Like this move is gonna be good. But the best one out of them all is without a doubt going to be this one. Without a doubt, this is the most important one. It increases that explosion radius, which is all you need. This is going to make it to where you can cover more areas of the map. And whenever you split it, it's going to be good. So, yeah, trust me. Your perks that you should go for is to, I'll take that with Ice to beat you and Coffeezilla. And then one of you needs to run I dodge, you dodge, we dodge. This is a cooldown character. He doesn't really need anything else in his kit because he has so much survivability. So he won't really need Tasmanian. He won't really need like uh, trip all that other stuff. The only thing else that like you could put on him would be the triple jump if you wanted to. Um, but for the most part, you really are going to want to stack ice to beat you with um, I'll take that and Coffeezilla. So that's like your go-to lo loadout with this guy. So those three perks, and then your teammate, you will want them to run I dodge, you dodge, we dodge. And, uh, yeah. And if you uh, are, like, actually, like, really trying to go crazy in the game, I would recommend you both have on one of I dodge, you dodge, we dodge. And then you make your teammate grab the Coffeezilla. Because Coffeezilla only needs one. You don't really need to stack Coffeezilla. So, yeah. Um... That'll be good, and you don't really need to stack this perk now either because you get nothing from it now. This perk is tragic now after this patch. Um, so I just you only need one, so that way you actually can get the little benefit from the I'll take that. Um, and you always gonna have to stack I'll take that now. You can't you can't like just like one stack it anymore since they nerfed this ability, which is kind of like whatever. But that's gonna be his main perk out loadout that's gonna help him the most. The biggest problem with this character I can see is him um, not being able to break armor uh, easily. But if I had to th say so, I do believe that um, he has armor. I'll just make him do this attack here. Um, see what I'm saying? Like, if that move were to break armor, then that would be good, right? But it doesn't. So, like, you breaking armor is going to be a little bit of a chore. I'm not even going to lie to you. Alright. So. I don't really know how I feel about him not really having a good armor break. You know what I mean? See what I'm saying? So, um yeah that's my biggest problem with him i feel like his armor breaks aren't really there um so we'll see we'll see what happens um i feel like that's gonna be a struggle part of his kit but that's pretty much everything hopefully you guys like this video hope you guys enjoyed it again if you haven't watched the combo video go watch that go crazy we're out
deuces.